All right, motherfuckers, this is an update on an update on an update of an update of a update. Uh, what's going on here? This dumbass blew up his hand on 4th of July. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, y'all know about it. If you two, we, we haven't been uploading for shit. It's been hectic out here. Busy as fuck. Uh, I'm picking up the his slack. And this guy's picking up his slack, and Nate is just acting stupid. So, we bringing it back right now on the update for an update. Uh, Max car is gone. Trailblazer came back and left, and it came back because of uh, his injuries. So, he picked it up, and now it's back because uh, the engine is back. Errata uh, fully forged it. I don't think the crank is forged, but the rest of the stuff is forged. Rods and pistons and stuff like that. Uh, Frankenstein uh, Boost District heads. 311s, monster heads with the O-ring. Uh, Magnusum, I think this is the 2300 uh, heartbeat. Uh, we're just missing a couple of stuff. Like we're missing the eight rib uh, idlers. Eight rib, yeah, idlers. Uh, the, the alternator, they send the wrong alternator. Uh, so this one, and this one, and the factory, the the one they send has to go back. I don't know what they're gonna do with him. I don't know what they what the shit they're gonna do with him. But I think they're gonna put all the internals on the other one into this one. I don't know some shit like that. But that goes back. Um, P R W water pump. This is the extra flow for the eight rib. We just missing the the water uh, outlet because uh, the truck one doesn't fit. So we ordered LS one uh, innovator West. Um, uh, what you call those? That's the overdrive pulley. Uh, grip tech. And that's it. Holly stuff. Speed engineering stuff. I top make uh, motor mounts. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it on this shit. Oh, Bones car is back on the lift. It's out of there. Now here. Uh, the whole back end, I got, I cut it off. It's not videoed. I didn't video that shit because uh, it's been hot out here in California. Uh, and we've been moving fast, not fast, but fast for me and that guy. Uh, it has a all new back half in it. I just got to finish the end caps and nicely flush them out. And I got to flush the end cap to the, the new back half just to make it it's like a beauty cap. They don't really gonna hold no fucking, you know, extra weight on the back of it. Uh, it has to get a custom tank. Uh, it's still, we're still in the mocking process. So we still gotta cut the center for the dry shaft. But I'm not gonna cut it until the end. Uh, this one has more than trans already in it. The diff is right there, but we have to uh, fucking center it again. A uh, new four link for it. Uh, we still got with some of the metal in there. All the rest of the four link, the coilovers and shit that we took off. Uh, this one got engine paint painted. Some of the stuff got loomed already, like that. Uh, we just gotta clean up the like the, the hoses and shit. Make sure we uh, replace the ones that are you know like the heater hoses. We're gonna change, replace the ones that look like flimsy or they're gonna like bust in the future. So we're gonna do that. Uh, Gabriel from LMS did us a whole new wiring harness. Now the engine harness, instead of going over the engine and spreading, is gonna go to the back, over the booster, to the back of the engine, and spreads out to the front. And that's it. Uh, but if Fat Boy wants to talk to you guys, hurry up, motherfucker. Hurry up. He wants to talk Bye. to you guys because uh we did the updates on uh whatever happened on instagram so if you follow us on instagram you know what happened if you don't follow us on instagram and only on youtube now you're gonna know what happened and you got the floor okay so on fourth of july obviously i blew my hand oh give him flick him off uh say hi so give him a thumbs up all right and now I came work with Nate, which was Speedy Dog. Um, so I started doing shirts. 
This is bringing me income since I obviously I can't work anymore without my right hand. And I started doing custom prints, like custom logos that people wanted. Like if you have your own logo, you can send it to me or a picture and I could try to erase the background like this one. I did this one. They sent me a picture off of Google. I deleted the background and I put it onto a shirt. And it's what, 20 bucks pickup if I provide shirt, 10 bucks to press. 10 bucks a transfer sheet and the file is five bucks and the file is five bucks but i've been doing different people's designs there goes camaro parts sal's garage danny's boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> that is spider-man and i have a whole group of halloween ones still too gotta post them still that one and this is a uh, DTF is ink that gets uh heat pressed into a shirt so this sh shit will never come off uh it will outlast your shirt instead of the vinyl those shits didn't last for long out here in the fucking working uh mine's still good because he don't take care of his shit but mine's still mine's still legit he took my shirt so that's why nope uh so this is Ink is made for these type of shirts. Not this type of shirt, for what he's doing. Uh, the ink, what, uh, the, the, the logo is going to outlast your shirt on this shit. Uh, he had a couple of big orders already, uh, so I help him out. And his orders, the mom helps him out, Danny helps him out, Stinky helps him out, Jelly helps him out. Everybody helps him out until he gets more movement in his shirt and he can do all his shit by himself. So that's what he's doing. If you want to support him, what's the page? Uh, Reels underscore prints. I have to change the logo on it too. Cause yeah, because this motherfucker using all my logos and shit. I think I have more inside. But, uh, no, not inside. But uh, he can, not, he's still not fully designing, but he can uh, alter images. Uh, shit like that. Uh, where he's learning how to design. Plus, the thing is, uh, he was right-handed. Now he has to learn how to do everything left-handed. So, you know, drawing shit is going to be a little bit tough for him for right now. So, if if you have a PNG logo or anything that he can work off of, of it will be better instead of he making it from scratch. Other than that, what you guys say? I'm gonna be going back to car soon. Soon. No, nah, he's already fired and he gets replacement. Is in training. She's inside. She's already. <laughs> she he got replaced by his little sister. Uh, the other thing is we got all aluminum six O. That's we gonna waffle away. Stay tuned for the future up uh, uh, updates on it. So right now it's a six O two forty three head, but we're gonna fully. Um, gone we're gonna go through it make sure it's all brand new all new uh bearing seals and shit like that uh uh heads might get ported it depends on the amount of interest i get on it if we can get amount a nice amount of interest i go all out you know i go with a P, uh stage four cam all that shit uh it is a 58 reluctor but i'm gonna swap it out to a 24 reluctor to make it better for everybody that that's out there you know you can put this shit on anything with a fucking old what is a old like a 2000 to 2000 what is uh 2005 i believe 2006 they use a 24 reluctor and you have an old pcm the 411s uh you can uh use that shit uh you can put the shit in the ls1 camaro shit like that i will be having a 20 a 24 reluctor uh, what for, so you can use the cable throttle body so you can put this shit on anything instead of having a fucking track down a 58 reluctor computer or fucking uh pedal shit like that uh so stay tuned for the info on this shit uh we st we're gonna bring it in the thing is i had merchandise that i bought for that but i gave it to him when he was selling shirts 
so he was giving them away when the first sales of the shirts went fucking public uh so i have to see how many numbers we're gonna put for that shit and see with the interest we get on that so we're gonna get the ball rolling on that shit so remember it's an all aluminum 6.0 it's gonna stay a 6.0 might put a little bigger bigger uh piston in it might the thing is you can't really go big on this shits because it's an aluminum uh but we might do something on the little on the heads you know might might go port and polish or might even swap them for ls3 heads but the thing is when you go ls3 heads the intake is going to be a little bit more expensive uh other than that what else you gonna have to say oh yeah we gotta go to the bourbon huh uh betty's still out in paint uh she's in uh paint jail uh we got bless what the bourbon this is new it's gonna be new to the channel uh it's actually mine but under the wife's name because of you know IRS shit it's a i'm the third owner so it's fully it's clean on the outside it just has fucking rust on the top but uh they're gonna take care of that there's rust on the hood and on top of the fender so they're gonna blend it from the two-tone they're gonna blend it all the way black to the top so she's super clean very clean we still got to do a lot of details though it's hot in here because it's hot in fucking california it has a factory have you ever seen this shit a factory Flip down. It's fully equipped for fucking uh, 99. It's a 2009. It's a fucking 2000. Uh, 99. 1999. Uh, what we did to it, we fixed the AC. We put the little TV shit. Uh, we bent. We put like a thousand miles on this bitch. Since we got it. Everything works on it. 4x4, two-wheel drive. Everything works on it. Uh, even the TV works. Everything works on this motherfucker. Uh, it just you know, bad driver seat. That's about it. Uh, clean rear seat, and the rear is even more cleaner. Um, uh, you can look under the seat. Fucking VHS player. Our factory. It's factory for ninety nine. Not not many came with the factory. Fucking uh. Rear player, rear entertainment. Uh, everything works on this shit. Rear AC, front AC, uh, heater, everything. Windows, locks, every 10. Even has a fucking transmitter. <clears throat> so you're gonna see this more in the channel. Uh, like we said, I uh, did the AC, the TV, a uh, little bit of audio here and there. Uh, I fixed the steering on it. It had a bad uh, fucking uh, pitman arm and the idler arm. So we did a whole front steering kit on it. Uh, I still gotta do the rag joint and probably I'm gonna do the fucking uh, power steering box to take the slack off of it. It has like, it had like six inches of play, but now it has like three inches of play, but still a lot of play for when you're on the freeway. It, it reacts slow to the steering. Other than that, you're gonna see this. Uh, we already did suspension too on it. We did the front and rear shocks. I still gotta do the front control arms and shit. Uh, new tires and um, that's it. And shit. She's super clean. Oh, they got shit in here. But uh, you can see this is a, a, a mat. Under the mat, you got the weather tech. And under the weather tech, you got the super clean floors. Super clean floors. But she's super clean. The headliner is still intact. Everything intact. Uh, spare wheel. We do have the cover. We took the cover off because I was measuring because I want to put a, a little small base on it and get rid of that wheel. I don't want super base. I just want a small base, but I still want my cargo area. That was the main thing about the cargo area. 
Because the thing is, we have the Escalade, but Escalade is going to donate its motor and trans and differentials, the front and rear differentials, to this one. And the Escalade will be uh, parted out. And I'm probably just going to pick it up the frame and have a uh, pick it apart, pick up the truck. Let's see. Piece of shit. Pull it. Oh, pull it. But lift up that seat. When we go on trips, this bitch been everywhere with us. Uh, not like that, stupid. Oh. oh. Back inside. Lower this one. Because you're going to take forever. Yes. Say so you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know if this escalates. I think it's the top one. It's one of those shits. There you go. That one. Okay, now this one. Oh, there you go. Okay, when we go on trips, it has two captains, right? Two captains, rear entertainment. It has everything. That bitch, everything works on it, AC and everything. But this is your cargo room right here. So it only fits one bag. And that's about it. So that's why the main thing is for the fucking uh, bourbon was the rear part of it. That's what I really wanted, the rear part of it. Because when we go trips, uh, they actually be carrying their luggage and shit on their laps and stuff. Because it, it does have a roof rack, but we don't use. We don't want to lose our stuff. So everything goes inside the car. So, yes. so they be carrying their shit. And it doesn't have a center. See? It's dirty because these motherfuckers don't know how to clean their shits. They fucking they keep everything dirty. That's why I don't let them keep shit inside of it but you saw it behind it already has fucking stuff in it motherfuckers and i told this dumb as the cleaning shit because we already i tell you we put like two uh, thousand miles on that shit so this will be the end of the video uh stay tuned for that one we really not gonna really show that much of the process on the installing motor and trans because y'all already seen, like, seen that shit but it's gonna be more like vlogs on that shit like when we take it out and stuff like that with the family and stuff on that one i don't want that much attention to that one that's why uh but yeah stay tuned for the rest of the stuff like the trailblazer the fucking cutlass uh this full fucking 88 uh fucking the two-door tahoe that's back there from nate all that shit's coming out <sighs> should be coming out the beginning of the next year and we still have the list of cars. The cars, the list goes all the way to June 2024. So stay, stay tuned for that shit. And I'll catch you on the next one.